Hello, you know who this is, Miss Tazzy Taz. How y'all doing? Oh, my nose ring is twisted. There we go. How y'all doing tonight? Y'all see, I got my contacts now. Yes. Happy. Happy. Told you a whole different look and persona. Right there. Oh, let me put the new hair in. Look at that. Ooh. Mmm. No, let me stop. I know what I'm doing. I got my black ready. I'm already sipping. I got my damn Moscato. Oh, I left work early today. Dealing with BS here at my house. Thank God because I done left my job like early. Three days in a row. I've been aggravated. I became short of patience. And I've been there a minute. So my patience became very short, especially if you sit in there and the other person ain't comprehending what you say. So I'm not the only one that feels that way. Some of my um, co-workers are feeling the same way too, you know what I'm saying? You might be trying to look for another job, but they got to be paying more than what I'm making now because I have to cover rents and bills, that's for sure. But. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to talk about tonight. I don't want to dwell on my job because it's the weekend, baby. I'm supposed to dwell on something else, happiness. Ooh, so let's talk about that. Finding happiness for yourself. Not looking for happiness in somebody else or somebody to bring happiness to you because you should already be happy. And if you're not, then you might need to find out what's the root of the problem. Why you not happy and stuff. And everything. Because. That don't make no sense. That means you have nothing but negative energy going on. And nothing positive. So who wants to be around that when. That you feeling around you. It comes true. That misery loves company. Nobody want to be around that. I mean I wouldn't. And the people who do want to be around, there's something wrong with them because ain't no way I want to be around somebody who's miserable. You could be miserable by your doggone self for all I'm concerned. You don't have to take me down with you. So try to put a smile on your face and make it happen. Faking it till you make it. Ain't that what they said? Mm. Y'all knew that was going to happen. I got to have my black while I talk. I'm sipping and I'm smoking. I'm talking. It's just what I do. So, see people be trying to find happiness with someone else, hoping that they'll be happy with them, hoping that they'll be like, oh, you make me so very happy. Oh, my God. I didn't think I would stop smiling and all that stuff. If I have to find happiness with somebody else in order to be happy in my life, there's a problem. And it's a problem lying in me that I need to fix because I don't need to get with somebody because I'm going to make them just as miserable as I am. You can walk around with a smile on your face. Don't mean you're happy. That don't mean you check. All that means is you know how to smile. A baby know how to damn smile. The hell. I mean, come on now. Get real. If you looking to seek foundation and motivation and inspiration and everything in your life in order to feel like you belong, nobody need to sit there and try to stroke your ego. Who does that? Not I. I don't stroke nobody's ego. I don't. But whatever. I mean, the girl always said I was conceited. Like I run around with my nose in the air, like I was too good. I said, yeah, I was. I was too good to down myself to your level. That's what it was. So you didn't like that. So I'm not going to make myself miserable and be like, oh, yeah, girl, you know, this and that. No, not about your business still. Stay in your damn lane. Mm-mm. The people who do that, 
is the people who are trying to, one, be nosy, two, have some jokes off of your, your, your self-esteem, your laughter on the benefits of you, and then to top it off, they sitting there dogging you behind your back but smiling in your damn face, and then you sitting there, well, I thought we were friends, honey. I'm good. I will tell you dead in your face. Whatever I say behind your back, I'll tell you to your face. Yeah, I said this because this is this and this and this is why I said it. You might not agree with it, but it's the truth. Truth will set me free. I'm going to be free. Be free. Don't make a difference. But no. When people dog you and stuff like that, messing with you and everything else, and you are Accept what they say to me. Yeah, I am like that. Oh, but ain't nobody got time for no damn pity party either. Go on with your damn self, your damn mumping ass self. Oh my God, go find Jesus. He makes me very happy. Hell, he died on the cross. Come on now. He tried to make our lives better. You let the other people make your life miserable. Make you unhappy these days. Make you feel like you ain't worth nothing. But if you look in the mirror, you'd be like, oh, I am worth more than what you ever imagined. Honey, you couldn't even put a price tag on how much I'm worth. Never. Because why? I know who I am and I love me. Love me. Love me love myself but no people sit out here and they they dog they talk about you I mean I've been talked about so much but they don't care but, oh you should see my shirt stand up you see what it says I love a hater See what they keep me motivated. Yes, honey. I love a hater. Because they do keep me motivated. They keep me wanting to keep on doing what I'm doing because you hating on me. Ooh. She's speaking truth. When you have somebody talking about you, trying to dog you and every which way, and don't even know your business. Don't don't know nothing. Just making up stuff as they go along to make the story sound better. Oh, I did. You don't say something. She said that. For real. I might need to try it then since I haven't done it yet. But since I'm already been talked about that I have done it, I might need to try it. Yeah, I learn about haters. I mean, I'm a hairstylist. I mean, come on. I've been in the business for almost 20 years. I had my own hairstyling people who worked with me hate on me. I mean, I, when I say hate, honey, they had to figure out some kind of concoction to get me out of that job. But didn't have the paperwork to go behind it. But you said I got fired because of this. Yeah, but, uh, no, 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 wait a minute, hold up. Let's let's try this one more time. And can you try to clear your damn throat so you start stuttering over some damn words? Cause when you said it, you didn't stutter. You, oh, you, you stuttering cause you t you're lying. Oh, okay. Go on, feed me your lie. And I'ma sit here and act like, oh, for real I did. You won't convince me. Not. Get your ass up out of here. Miss me with your boo. I had girls hating on me. Dealing with dude. And they ain't my man. If you can have them or you said you had them, then they're not my men. Correct? I mean, anybody who sit there and that 
some girls say, yeah, I F his ma her man and this and that and the other. <clears throat> Does that make you feel good? Because you look like a straight up hoe. So you just, you making yourself look bad. I ain't even have to do nothing. Because you hurt you so bad. It literally hurts you that bad. I mean, they turned around. They, they sent a letter and stuck it on the door. I said, my man had AIDS. I say, y'all went this far to say that this man had AIDS. Honey, I'm going to tell you what. I'm not going to first be with somebody with AIDS. No offense. But I'm... I'm a ride and die chick, but I ain't trying to die off of something like that. Because you went around hoeing around. Hey, I'm hoeing. You ain't going to convict me because your ass is convicted. What kind of shit is that? Who want to be in that kind of damn mix? Then the next dude I'm with, because he is gorgeous and body, and all the girls wanted to feel his muscles and, and this and that. When he didn't give them no time of day or anything like that, all of a sudden, he had AIDS. He was gay or whatever, whatnot. I'm like, can y'all get out of here? But he hangs with a gay guy. So. So. So, I hang around a bunch of gay people. I don't care. They are the most funnest people to hang with. It's a party. It's a party, honey. Woo! Mmm! If y'all ain't got a couple of gay friends, y'all got this homophobic thing going on, y'all might want to kill that. Because gay people is so much fun. I love them. My cousins are gay. My goddaughter, she's gay. My god sisters, they're bisexual. I don't care. They're still fun to me. I love them. I'm a supporter. I'm not gay, no. But I'm a supporter. Because you can't run around this world and tell somebody who they can Do I need to say it? I'm pointing at it. I'm not going to run around. You ain't going to tell me who I can and cannot. I wish you would. I'm grown as hell. You love who you love. You fall in love with who you fall in love with. Congratulations, you got somebody that love you just as equally as you love them. Go ahead. I'm too busy loving myself. The wonder if somebody really loves me. That's why I already made my arrangements. Told my kids, told my parents, told my sister. I said sister, I got sisters, but I chose just one sister. What to do? Do not give me a funeral. <laughs> do not give me a wake. <laughs> Cremate me with my eyelashes, contacts, and my hair done to the gods. Put some earrings on me and one of my jewelry and let it go. Don't put no bra on me now. What the? I'm crying even no damn bra. Barely like to wear them bad boys anyway. And keep it moving. And four, and keep it moving. I like to be seen. I don't like to be viewed. Sorry. And then bomb through it. I'm already be Put it in me. Twice as big. You got to get a bigger damn coffin. Oh, no. Or ca a casket. Whatever you want to call it. Whatever. It still goes in the damn ground. I told him I didn't want to get dirty. Man, this is that, but that's me. Can come up with some stuff. 
but no, it's true. I understand, honey. I have people, you know, ask me questions dealing with their relationships, and I let them know fast, quick, and hurry. What I'm saying is just my opinion. But more than that, my opinion is more than I live through it. I know what it's about. I know how I felt in the situation. So that's basically what I'm telling you. What I feel in my situation as I was going through it. Now what you decide to do, is a to it could be a totally different thing. But I'm just telling you what I feel at that time. That's all it can be. Well, what do you think I should do? Is it worth saving? Is it worth being in that that environment, that predicament? Anything. See, our topic today is all about love. Loving yourself, loving within, loving you. That's, if you didn't catch on what I'm talking about, then that's what I'm talking about. I'm bringing up subjects dealing with love. That's how I am. I have a lot of things going on in the head, I told y'all. It's a lot of things. Sometimes I, I need questions to answer. I mean... Sometimes you, you wonder. It was, it, I just wonder sometimes, is my thinking wrong? You gotta wonder that sometimes, is your thinking wrong? But like I told you, everything I'm talking about in my videos are all about life experience that I've been through. It ain't about nobody else's life. It's about me and how I feel of any kind of situation. Dealing with men, dealing with children, dealing with co-workers, family. The whole nine yards is just dealing. And you get to choose who you love and your family too, honey. You know that'll happen. You can hate your family. It is possible. And that's the truth. Ooh, I got some aunts right now. They, they don't even know what's going on in my damn life, but they'll make something up quick in a heartbeat. I mean, I've been told I was on base screwing a whole bunch of men. But the people that know me knew I was all, all the time at work. So when when she had time to do all that, honey, that, that was a When would I have been able to sleep, first of all? And I got to get some sleep. I don't care. Some sleep got to come some kind of way in this mix. I'm older now. I get tired. And sometimes if I don't get tired, yeah, I'll be woke. Be wide-eyed, bushy-tailed, the whole nine yards. Mm. Those are those. That's what me and my best friend did. We weren't even sleepy. We were drinking the whole night. We messed around and got a four loco. Y'all, if y'all don't know about that, mmm. We will never do that again. <laughs> but anyway, or as I like to say, anywho. Love is a good experience. To be in love is wonderful. It's wonderful. I'm not going to say that it's not. It is a beautiful thing. Love is just like giving birth to your child. You already loving it inside of you and while it's growing, that's how the relationship is. It's like a child. It, it grows. And it grow, It can grow into something very beautiful. Or it can just turn around and turn, turn into something very ugly. Mm. And you said, why did you say that? Dealing with childbirth and lo uh, love with a relationship? 
Because some kids turn around and be rotten as hell and killers and stuff. Y'all forgot that. There. There's the connection. You gotta match that one up. I didn't. I'll figure that out. You never think you're raising somebody like that. And I hope to God that you're not. I hope everything is in the up and up. I told y'all could appear God in mind. Love him to death. But I could appear God in them. Let them know. Play with me if you want to. I got you. Mm-mm. Y'all, this black is good right now. I ain't gonna lie. I hope I do get some more subscribers or people watching my videos. Ask me some questions. Talk about some subjects they would want me to talk about. In that mix. I just threw that in there. <laughs> you got to throw some kind of thing in there. Like I said, I do this for me. This is like a way for me to vent. To talk about things. Like, if you start having feelings for somebody, do, is it the good feelings or is it a lust feelings or is it a love feeling, basically? What kind of feeling is it? Hmm. That's something to think about. Like I said, before you start loving somebody else, you want to have to love you and know what you love and what you want. I mean, you can be the pickiest person, but it's all right for you to be the pickiest person when it comes down to when it comes to a relationship to be with somebody else, to bring somebody else into your world, into your life, as they to do the same thing. You want to know that you can connect in a lot more ways than just one. You need a lot more connections. I mean, like I said, love is awesome. Awesome sauce. You are like someone to hold you at night. Ooh. Cuddle with. Just not get with somebody because it's cold outside and you need to cuddle then. My nigga, get a blanket. Yeah, they, that's what you do. Buy your ass a onesie. Thank you. That's how I feel. You cuddle, cuddle with me because it's cold outside now. It'll be cold all day. It can be cold until the moon come in. Oh Lord, phone ringing. I had to call my homegirl back. She just misses me. That's all. I miss me too. <laughs> I told y'all. <laughs> I'm conceited. Oh, y'all yeah, missing this hair, but it's getting in my um, hooked on to my eyelashes, honey. That ain't cute. Snatch this bad boy right off. But no. And a mix of everything that you're doing in life, that you love in life, that you're appreciating, appreciating life. And know that that someone is going to come along when you least suspect it. And it's going to feel like he turned your whole or hit her. I speak in female form. Sorry, y'all. I'm a female. See me. But gonna turn your life all upside down. And you're just gonna be like, what is these emotions? Exactly, that's just what it is. Emotions. And they can be good emotions. 
My black went out, y'all. I'm pissed. I've been puffing this whole time. But that's what it is, emotions. And you have to sort out your emotions to get to the root of the feelings that you have right then and there. So don't feel like it's a bad thing. Just don't tear down your walls so quickly for those emotions that you're getting. Weave your way through to know that, yeah, that's right. Everything I'm feeling, I'm right. I'm doing the right thing. Like I said, love yourself, appreciate yourself, and get to know yourself so you don't wreck yourself and wreck somebody else's self too. Find the love within you, the love within you, and everything else. Baby, it will come to you. I promise you. I promise you. And it'll be the best thing ever. It'll be your future wife or your future husband. But it'll come to you in due time. That's why I'm patient. And I ain't never been married. But I ain't worried about it. Because they say patience is a virtue. I got it then. So I'll see y'all later. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a good night because I'm going to be back with another video. I will. Later.